Today we're going to do something different. We're going to shoot a series of videos on aluminum. And the reason for that is because it stems back to the possum mentality video I shot about a month ago. And that is utilizing every resource you have available to you, as well as seizing every opportunity that presents itself. Now for me, it doesn't matter where I go, I seem to always find trash, mostly glass bottles and aluminum cans. So I thought, I'm going to go ahead and do some research here and find out at what point do aluminum cans melt, or 3000 series, which is what typical aluminum is. And I found that around 1250 degrees Fahrenheit, aluminum tends to melt and become molten. So I thought, let's take it a step further. A basic campfire. Nothing special, just regular wood, basic campfire. What is that? Well, hand drill and bow drill, the ember seems to ignite around 800. Further research showed me that the campfires are around 1100 to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. So right there, we're within the parameters to melt the aluminum. So what you're gonna see right here is a video I shot in my backyard, and I apologize for that, but it's a controlled experiment of me attempting to melt aluminum inside so of a coffee can crucible. Enjoy. There's the coffee tin. Place my aluminum can inside there, and I put it in a fire pit. The bottom of my fire pit is like a dome, it's rounded. So I had to go ahead and adjust it to make sure that it was level. I was afraid a thing was gonna spill over and lose all my material. So once I got that leveled up, we fast forward here about half an hour, and you see the cans glowing red. And if you look in there closely, it's kind of hard to see because the stick is catching on a fire, but you're going to see shiny molten material. So the aluminum can is actually melting inside that coffee tin. And you should be able to see it again right here once the flames go down. There it is. You can see it reflecting off. So at this point, I was like, that's great. That's cool. Let's go ahead and add some more cans to this. And a total of about, I think, nine or ten cans I put into that coffee tin. And here we are at this point right here. You can see there's about ten cans in there, and it's all liquid. This is a space of about an hour. Now from here, I want to grab the can out of there and transfer it to some sort of casting or mold. So all I had was cat litter. So I put cat litter because it's clay, tossed it inside of a bowl, and then poured my ingot. And you can see that happen right here. There's a divot right there. Use my Leatherman. And there's an aluminum ingot right there. So this showed me that it does work and can be transferred. And there's a close-up. Welcome back. For me, this was outstanding. It showed me several things. First off, it taught me that I can keep a campfire above 1250 degrees for a period of time long enough to melt material inside of a coffee can crucible. Second, I can then transfer that molten material to a mold and cast an ingot. Now for me, this opens the door to several possibilities. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the woods, have some fun. I'll catch you next time.